The Piccolo study is a global phase two open label study of mervatuximab in those with platinum sensitive ovarian cancer and heavily pretreated. Um, specifically in a study, patients had to have at least two prior lines of therapy. They also had to have FR alpha high expression, and that was based very specifically on the PS2 positive intensity score and greater than or equal to 75% of the viable tumor cells. In terms of the patient population, 302 patients were screened for the study. 44% were eligible or based on their FR alpha high expression. And in the demographics, it's very important to know that 38% had had at least three prior lines of more. 81% previously treated with a PARP inhibitor and about 74.7% .7 of those patients had progressed on that PARP inhibitor. So this is a really important population for us to understand in this new era that we're living in where a lot of our patients do receive a PARP inhibitor in the frontline setting, what is going to be their response to subsequent therapies. In addition, um, over 60% of patients had previously been treated with bevacizumab and 54% had a platinum-free interval that was less than or equal to 12 months. Well, what we found is really exciting. Um, I was just want to share with you first the um, primary endpoint here was investigator-assessed objective response rate, and a key secondary endpoint was the duration of response. In terms of what we found, it's 79% or 79 participants enrolled in the study. And of those participants, all of them were valuable for the efficacy endpoint. In terms of the objective response rate, 51.9% of patients responded, and 7% of patients had a complete response. What was really exciting when you look at the waterfall plot is the depth of the responses and breadth of responses. Almost every patient on the study derived clinical benefit. One of the things that we did was a subgroup analysis across the various different groups to evaluate the response rates of mervatuximab in these smaller um, subsets. And we do have to be somewhat cautious because some of these smaller groups did have small numbers that limit our ability to interpret the findings fully. However, I want to share with you some of the promising findings. In patients who had a BRCA mutation, or in those patients who had not previously been treated with a PARP inhibitor, the objective response rates were over 70%. In patients who received a prior PARP inhibitor and progressed on that PARP inhibitor, the response rate was 45.8%. And the median duration response in that group of patients that I think is going to be very difficult to treat was over seven months. So I'm very excited about the findings of the high levels of uh, response in all of these groups, but very, very enthusiastic about our findings, specifically in those patients who received a prior PARP inhibitor and progressed on that treatment. There were no new safety signals. In fact, the Toxicity shown here was very similar to prior studies and shows that differentiated safety profile that mervatuximab has, which is very mild, for the most part, gastrointestinal toxicities, neurosensory side effects, as well as reversible ocular events. I'm really hopeful that the Piccolo trial will lead to use of this novel therapeutic option for patients with heavily pretreated platinum sensitive disease who have high FR alpha expression. Being able to provide these patients with a single agent effective therapy that has a good tolerable profile is incredibly important. As I mentioned, most of these patients have been heavily pretreated. The more you receive carboplatinum, the more likely you are to have toxicity, especially hypersensitivity reactions. And it can be more challenging for the patients to receive the doses that may have the best benefit for them.